Guess not a meow. Just came home one day and I noticed this cat. That's a good boy. Oh, stop. Every time I got near him, he would just hiss. Hi, buddy. Daily, I'd see him hanging out. I missed your crabs. It took six months for me to get somewhat close to him to make him realize that I'm a friend and I'm just here to help. And then he started just sitting at my porch, just waiting for me. Good morning, Mr. Krabs. Hi. Give me a meow. Yeah, a good meow. Can I have no? That's a good meow. That's why I named him Mr. Krabs. He is just a crabby, feral cat. Come on. Let's go to our spot. I know. Stop it. And I decided to open up my front door, just see if he would come in. Sure enough, he did. He was just looking around. He was very curious. Mr. Krabs is sitting in my house. <laughs> Literally just chilling. Oh, okay. Well, now I say that. There he goes. I came home the next day and my neighbor comes over. She's crying. Mr. Krabs and this other cat she was feeding both got hit by a car. We ended up calling animal control, got him in a net. And he is in the box. <laughs> We're going home. There he is. Looking a little bit lazy right now. He couldn't walk. He was in so much pain. Yeah, I know it's okay. He said that he, he was a work in progress and are you sure you want to take him? And I said, yep, I will be there. Hey, Mr. Krabs. What's it doing, buddy? He was very groggy. Didn't really know what was going on. I just sat there, I talked to him. Every single day, I would sit there with him. When he started eating, that was just that sign. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Saw little paw prints in the litter box. He's getting up and he's starting to go to the bathroom. He decided to come on in and make himself at home and jump on the couch. I spy the Mr. Krabs. It's just been really rewarding to see the progress that Mr. Krabs has been taking and not giving up. Look at that face. Look at what a chunk he is.